body like zombie Go down on me, yo, we drop up that body Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce those that will be overseeing this bout at the bell. The three judges scoring this bout at the bell are Sheyi George, Constantine Agorum, Shegu Adesanya, and the third man in the ring when the bell goes will be Tayo Olaifa. And now introducing the boxers, the first fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in weighing 70.8 kilograms. He is making his debut in the world of professional boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome for the very first time in professional ranks, Ucheji Ebuka Christopher. And his opening fighting out of the red corner. Comes in weighing 71.2 kilograms. His fighting record, one fight, one win. That one win coming by way of knockout. Before turning professional, he comes with a sterling amateur record. Four-time national champion. Three, two-time champions of champion. 2019 All-Africa Games silver medalist. Commonwealth Games quarter-finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome your hands together for the one, the only, Abdul Afid Oshoba. The referee will now give his instructions to the two fighters. Good evening, guys. My name is Tayo Lifer. I need a clean fight from you guys. Protect yourself at all times and listen to my command at all times. Good luck. Touch gloves. Six rounds of boxing. And it's set. And it's course. It's a beautiful, beautiful day right here. Uh, May uh, 28th, Sunday. And we are live from uh, the indoor sports hall of the National Stadium in Surulere, Lagos. Venue of the third edition in the series, d -Lads Boxing Promotions Battle of the Ages. And of course, my name is Nero Adesoya. And of course, in the commentary corner uh, with one and only Moni Janice. Janice, good evening to you. And of course, I'm, look, I'm sure you're looking forward to a great night of boxing. Yes, good evening, Nero. It's so exciting to be here at the last boxing promotion. The Battle of Ages is in three, and we're on the way. My name is Janice Himoni, and you can call me the Hurricane, the Angel of Boxing. And we are live here at the Indoor Sports Hall, Sierra Leone, Lagos State, Nigeria. Okay, and uh, we got 10 bouts lined up for you tonight. And the first of it is right on at this moment as we are run this commentary to you. A six round national super middleweight challenge fight. And it's between Ucheji Ebuka Christova, uh, the man in the white trunks with the trimmings of green, up against uh, a very popular boxer, Abdul Afiz Oshoba, who is the man in the blue trunks and white trimmings on the side. Uh, this promises to be exciting. It is. Um, Youth versus uh, 
not so youthful, and of course, uh, a lot of experience on the side of Oshoba, who has tasted a lot of professional boxing and is still unbeaten so far. Yeah, Oshoba is um, a Commonwealth um, participant. He just came back from Commonwealth Games and he's still doing what he knows how to do best boxing, and he has been do done a lot in the amateur um, um, uh, sector and is bringing the power into the professional. Um, Sect. And I hope that Oshie Ebogaku is able to contain this boxer who is well known around this boxing industry in Lagos State, Nigeria. Oshoba getting some combinations in right there. He's starting early. Ebuka looking like he still wants to size his opponent out, but Oshoba is straight off on the offensive. Very mobile. Uh, beautiful head movement and combining with some body shots as well as some head shots right there so far. Not anything spectacular yet, but then Oshoba. Uh, Ebuka looks like a boxer you need to look out for. He is a southpaw and it does look like he's trying to set up Oshoba for that, his left arm. Yeah, Uchechi Ebuka on green, um, white trunks on green stripes, while Oshoba is on blue trunks with white stripes. They are digging down on, on this um, boxing show tonight. And we expected a firepower from Oshoba and also a uh, counter firepower from Uchechi, who's ready to, to, to do some damage to Oshoba. Okay, it's still round one of six. And uh, if what we have seen so far in round one is anything to go by, trust me, this is going to be an explosive fight. Both of them two still trying to size each other up and uh, looking forward to a great one. Indeed, we're looking forward to a great fight. A good hook there from Ushichi. The fans are excited here at the Indus Sports of Lagos State, Nigeria. And we are seeing some actions right here at the Indus Sports Hall. Oshoba gives a good hit to Oshoji. And end of round one, ladies and gentlemen, as the fighters make their way back to the corners, it's the end of round one. Remember, we are live here at the Indus Sports of National Stadium, Surulay, Lagos State, Nigeria. And this battle is talking about the Nigerian boxing battle of control. And we are still in the first round. Still hoping to go to the round of six. End of the first round. Getting set for the second one. Uh, both fighters have their fans right here. And uh, you can see Ebuka there. But then... Here's a bit of a, some highlights of the first round. Not so much from two boxers. Uh, you would expect uh, Abdul Hafiz or Shaba to be the busier. Uh, being the man who is, uh, has been in the spotlight. He knows about this situation. He, he's been in and out of it. And uh, we'll have to wait to the second round of the fight to find out what both boxers have in store. We've seen some flashes, but we haven't seen the main one. So we're waiting. It's round two right here. The first... Uh, out of the night uh, battle of the ages three season three it is and it's brought to you by d lads boxing promotions taking place right here at the indoor sports hall of the national stadium in surulere lagos the best of nigerian boxing best of african boxing straight from Ni lagos nigeria to the rest of the world round two Here yeah, is the beginning of round two, and you can see Oshoba throwing some flash jabs. Whoa, and a good hit coming from uh, Uchechi. And Oshoba receives it gladly. Ebuka looking very tidy in his defense. Oshoba hasn't really been able to penetrate. And uh, Ebuka himself showing a bit of uh, some flashes of what he has in store, but he needs to release those hands. He needs to let those hands go, and of course, see if he can. You know, come back into it. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty much fighting on a defensive level, and we have to see how things go. Yes. Oshaba throwing some combinations, trying to uh, break down the defense of Ebuka. 
uh, still hasn't uh, gotten the desired effect so far. And Janite, it's interesting that Ebuka is the bigger of the two uh, fighters in terms of uh, size. Uh, but even though Oshoba has a bit of a better reach than him, you'd expect to be to see Ebuka, you know, a bit more explosive than what he has been doing. Well, so far so good, Ebuka has been trying his best to be as explosive as I've expected. But Oshoba is, uh, I think, is an, is an experienced boxer who has tested boxing home and abroad and knows what to do to hold down uh, Uche to his feet. And in case you're just joining us, this is the lad boxing promotion sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control. And we are live here at the Indoor Sports House, Cyril Lever, Lagos State, Nigeria. Uche on the green and white trunks, while Oshaba on the blue and white trunks. A good body shot there, Tom And the, the fans are ecstatic already. I, I hope they see a knockout. I don't know, uh, Janita. I want to see a lot more from uh, Ebuka. He's, he's not doing as good as he should. And he's allowing Oshoba to get into the flow. Oshoba is really starting to enjoy himself, you know. And Ebuka, rather than trying to counter with punches, is just, you know, happy to defend himself, keep up his guard. That's not the way to keep to get yourself points on the scorecards of the judges. Well, you know, the truth to be told, I expect more from Oshoba because he's, he's, I think he's a more experienced fighter. Absolutely. Action Omen abroad, and I expect more firepower from him to get the crowd, the crowd still standing. Oh, well, that's exactly what he's doing, but we also need to see a lot more from Ebuka so that it doesn't just show that he's just an underdog. You, you can be an underdog, but what says you cannot upset the, the better, the more popular and the, and, the, and the more pronounced fighter? You can do that. Oh, sure. So we need to see a lot more. He's defending so much. By now, I feel after two rounds, he should have had an idea of what Oshoba has in store, the firepower. Very and now, true. when Very we go true. to the third round, I want to see a lot more from him rather than raising his guards up to defend himself all the time. You need to take the fight to the champion if you're, or if you're going to beat the champion. Yes. To be the, to, to be the best, you need to be the best. You need to beat the best to be the best. So we're expecting which is to, to actually become some more firepower to destabilize um, Oshoba on this game tonight. And we're seeing some highlights again from that second round. And you can see exactly what I was saying. He keeps, you know, taking his guards up all the time. He needs to fight. He needs to throw the punches. He needs those arms. He's got powerful, powerful biceps and triceps. He needs to make it count. Check us out. Round three. Round three on the way. The round of six. We're in the round of three right now. And in case you're just joining us, the Lad Boxing Promotion, sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Mode of Control, we are live here at the Indoor Sports Hall, Cyril Lagos State, Nigeria. And I'm hanging out with the legendary commentator, Mr. Nero, who is here with me live on this commentary box. Okay, round three it is right here. And you can see from the crowd, blindly, Vuvuzelas just right behind us. So much so that Janita and I barely can hear each other. But then, that's what it's all about, it's supportership. A lot of the two boxers have their, fan, have, their, have their fans right here and they're all there. Lovely body punch there. And you can see the impact of that body punch. Immediately, Ebuka dropped his guard and, the, and you can see he's doing that again. Those combinations of body and head punches. <laughs> yes, and he's working for Oshoba. Ebuka seems to say, bring some more. I'm, I, can, I, I can take it all. You can't keep doing that. The judges are there. Why are you asking for more? And he's connecting. You are losing points. Your oh. opponent is getting points. Oh, yes. Well, boxing is a sweet science, as we can all can see tonight on this boxing um, extra fingers out. Uh, Ebuka has barely thrown three punches in this third round so far, and for me, it's not enough. He came right from the from from the from the um, from the bell bellman's uh, bell. He came into the center of the ring. I thought he was ready for business, ready to do stuff, and all of a sudden, he's finding it difficult to actually throw punches again. Maybe he was ready to receive no, two punches. See those body punches again. Every time he, every time Oshaba goes for the body, you see Ebuka, you know, and when he tries to come out aggressively, he doesn't, he doesn't really connect. Look at that. Look, Look at those body punches. Punches, Yes. Ebuka should do something before he actually gets knocked out by Oshaba. Who is all the damage he had today. It's a crazy round, a wonderful round. A round for gladiators, ladies and gentlemen. Ebuka 
Uteji Kustova versus uh, Abdulaziz Oshaba. This is indeed battle of the ages. Absolutely. As you can see, Aziz is getting more and more into the rhythm. Uh, and I dare say that Ebuka was saved by the bell there because he was already tired. You saw the way he grabbed, grabbed hold of uh, Abdulaziz uh, Oshaba. If there had been 30 more seconds in that fight, Lovely I would knockdown. not be surprised if there was a knockdown. Maybe not a knockout, but there would have been a knockdown. There. The Shaba was busy throwing those punches at the, towards the end of the round, not keeping anyone behind. All the power, power in, his, in his arsenal he was busy throwing them all out. And Ucheti was just receiving and receiving. I don't think that's good for a boxer. That's not good. He needs to start scoring points. So far, so good. I have a Shaba down on those three rounds. Check us out. Those three rounds already. Round four. Out for this night. He needs, Ebuka needs to step up. There's three more rounds for him to redeem himself. When you look at uh, Oshaba's track record, then you understand why he's fighting the way he's fighting. And that's why, Janite, you talked about the fact that you expect him to be the aggressor. And that's exactly what he's doing. I mean, we're talking about a two-time national champion, a, a, a four-time four -time national, a, a four, two-time amateur champion, four-time national champion, an All-Africa Games silver medalist. I mean, a Commonwealth Games quarter finalist. Wow. It's all there for you we're, to see, and that's exactly why what he's doing, man. we expect a lot more from him as well. Lots of punches come from Mashaba, and the crowd are asking for more. Good body shots coming from the game. He's just picking, he's, he's, he's picking, he's picking apart Ebuka. He's actually punishing this man tonight. The hook comes, the uppercut, the th Ashoba is indeed punishing his man tonight and uh, those are saying that the toy should be thrown because this man has been punished by Ashoba right here. We really don't know what to expect in this third round of this very fantastic bout. Uchiji is on the receiving end. All the punches come from Ashoba. But the body shots, the hook, the three, and everything. And it tries to fire back. A good one coming come there from Uchiji. Oh, massive one there. Lovely right hook coming from Ashoba. But Uchiji fights back. But still not getting a nice one there from Uchiji again. But every time he tries to go forward, he knows that Ashoba is on the prowl. He cannot afford to drop his guards, and that's exactly what he's doing. But it must be difficult when you're fighting against somebody as prolific as Oshaba, where you cannot even try to throw your own punches because of the fear of being caught. Oshaba is just out there punishing his man, throwing all the punches, and the Cheji just receiving everything. I think it's the end of the, of the round. I think Oshaba has taken this round. A wonderful round. Ucheji is tired. You can see the way. He actually walked slowly back to his corner. That tells you a lot. Oh, let me tired after receiving all these punches. <laughs> if I were you, I'm tired. Let's go back to the action again. As you can see on the replay, Oshaba doing lots of damages on his opponents. Body shots coming in, head shots. Oh, good shots coming from Oshaba. And there's no response from Ushiji. I hope the next round will be better. I was wondering why the top was not thrown in to stop the fight, but it's boxing, anything can happen. So in case you're just joining us, this is the last boxing promotion and it's tagged Battle of the Ages. It's the season three. And we are live here at the Indus Sports Hall of the National Stadium, Surulere, Lagos State, Nigeria. 
and I'm sitting in the commentary box with Mr. with Nero Agusaya, who is here with me doing this, okay. doing this, do what he knows how to do best. Seconds out, round five, and there we go. The penultimate round for the very first bout of the night. We got ten bouts lined up for you in the season three of the Battle of the Ages, brought to you by D Lads Boxing Promotion out of Lagos, Nigeria to Africa and the rest of the world. It's here at the Indoor Sports Hall of the National Stadium in Surulere, Lagos. And of course, it's the first part of the night and we've got the very widely traveled, absolutely experienced Abdulaziz Oshoba up against uh, young, young gun in terms of experience, but not necessarily in terms of age, uh, Ucheji Ebuka Christopher. Ebuka is wearing the white trunks with green and a, a green trimmings while Oshoba is spotting the blue with white and then you can see Ebuka jump straight in he had the opportunity to quickly grab and that's exactly what he's gone for he's gone for the clinch yes. the referee steps in breaks the clinch and the, the fight continues Oshoba on the blue trunks and white um, stripes while Ucheji is on the white trunks with the green stripes doing battle with each other on this show the last boxing promotion brought to you sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control it's the Battle of the Ages season 3 and Oshoba doing some damage to Ucheji who's on the receiving end taking all the shots still standing strong the first, second, third round we can see all the shots coming in from Oshoba and Ucheji is gladly receiving it, but I don't know how long he's going to keep receiving this punch. So much energy, so much action, but you're not seeing the finished product coming from Ebuka. And uh, it can, you see the swing of that, those punches. You expect him to have a very ferocious punch, but he's not letting them go. And that's exactly the problem. He's having. Look at the way he's having to defend his middle mid-rib area and that shows that he doesn't really have the stamina to take a lot of body punches you can see the impact of those good punches. body shots coming from Oshoba and a good swing a retaliator coming from Oshoba who says he's not dead and out and he's still in the game Oshoba doing lots of damage on this boxer here tonight it's been a cool so far for him he's taken all the five rounds we have seen so far and uh, this will be over in just a matter of uh, seconds more talking about the fifth round those massive body punches again I, those punches have really affected Ebuka Ebuka looks to be in trouble but can Oshoba finish it up yeah and uh, he got away there because of the fact that uh, referee Ty, Ty Olaifa was trying to warn Oshoba from using the side of his arm nice one there a lovely end to that round coming from Ebuka but he needs to do more of that he needs to he needs a KO he needs absolutely KO if he doesn't get a knockout no he's game. definitely going to lose this fight oh yes he, he can't win this fight with one round he he's lost the four five rounds so, so far Seconds out, round six, the final round. We are in the final round of this um, super middleweight challenge fight between um, Uteji Ebuka Christopher and Abu Lafiza Oshaba. And we are uh, live here at the Indian Sports Hall of the National Stadium Civil Lagos State, Nigeria. Don't forget this bout is sanctioned by the Nigerian Boxing Board of Control and uh, promoted by the Lads Boxing Promotion. It's tagged Battle of the Ages, Season 3. A good shot coming from Oshaba while Ocheje receives it and sends a good one back 
for the man who sends his punches to, to, towards him. And you can see uh, Ebukat still trying to be evasive and he gets caught with a lovely uh, left hook there from Oshoba. Oshoba trying to look for the knockout. He also needs to watch out because he could get caught with a sucker punch and that could just take the wind out of his sail. He really needs to lovely watch out. combinations there. Yes. Right. But Ebuka still protecting himself very, very stuntly. So I see Ebuka just came to receive those punches for Oshoba because I really can count the punches he has thrown. He has really frustrated Oshoba. You can see Oshoba saying, let's fight. Are you interested in fighting or not? Oshoba tries, trying to taunt Ebuka right now. Trying to tell Ebuka, let's fight. He, knew, he wants a knockout. He wants a KO. He's looking for, he's looking for the opportunity for Ebuka to release those hands. But Ebuka is not ready for that. Ebuka is a good guardsman, on the guard all the time, receiving those punches from Oshoba. And the crowd are getting excited and ecstatic about this bout. A good show from Oshoba. We seem frustrated, but trying to show some beautiful skills there. Uh, Uche just says, hey, come on, man. I'm ready for you. Good body shot come from Oshoba. And the swing come from Uche. He will try to stop his man with the swing. And a clinch there, Oshoba seems frustrated. He wants a knockdown. Lovely combination, left to right. And another left to right there, but Oshoba doesn't connect. The fans are indeed excited. Oshoba and the show giving the fans what they have expected on this show tonight. And the fans are the And end of the bout, ladies and gentlemen. End of the sixth round between um, Uteji Ebuka Christova and Abdulaziz Oshaba. And that's the end of it right there. Uteji Ebuka uh, seems, seems a bit not satisfied with his performance himself. Uh, but I wonder why he's feeling that way right now. He had six rounds. To do something about this, he didn't do anything, and uh, final bell goes, and he's complaining well, to who? He did something, he and he didn't do anything. Punches. He only did. <laughs> yeah, he did receive punches. Oh, yeah, he did. I was almost asking uh, our colleague, the ring announcer, Ralph Chidoze George. Now, what is he here for? And Ralph was like, he obviously didn't come to box. <laughs> but we all know where this goes. But we're just waiting for the official. Uh, result of this six round contest super middleweight national super middleweight fight right here uh, from the sports hall of the national stadium in Surulere, Lagos and the show sportsmanship there for Muteji shaking hands of the show back. we don't want to see sportsmanship now we wanted him to fight come on throw punches give us a good run for his money but he never did that we are here now at the end of the bout and we are about to go to the judges table Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight has come to an end and the two fighters have left it to the hands of the judges. And after six rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. George A. George has scores it 60-54. That's even true. That's true. George Constance Chinagoram scores it 64-60. And George Shegwa Desonya scores it 54-60. For your winner, by unanimous decision, give it up for Abdul.
Boa fez o Xoba!